Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Yes, welcome, we hope you're returning. If you are new here, we previously did a video that talked about our first month stats on Poshmark, what we sold, how much, what our cost of goods was, and now we're gonna be doing a comparison to our second month. We're excited we had some growth. If you see us looking down, it's because we're collabing on a note. Yes. So <laughs> we wanna make sure that we're giving the right information so that you are not misled led. Serena, you want to kick us off? Yeah, I'll kick us off here. The number of total items that we sold was 56 items total. Compared to our previous first month, we sold only 48. So we did have an increase in sales. There is an increase in sales. I know we had a goal of doubling, but we just weren't there yet. I will say this month we listed less. Last month we listed 473 items. We were really just trying to get inventory listed. And this past month we only listed 228. So to still have 56 items sell in a month is impressive because a lot of it is still newer stuff that was listed this past month. And our average sale price stayed about the same. We were around $35 last time, it's still... 35, I'm happy with that. Our cost yeah. of goods is typically pretty low. I would say between five and $7. Yeah, and a lot of the price tags that we seem to pick up are like $5.99. So it kind yes. of just sits right in that range. But then some stuff is $2.99, which I love $2.99. Yeah, we're lucky that we live in an area that has really great thrift stores. There's Tons of them, just tons and tons of thrift stores. And some of them here, they say everything's bigger in Texas. Some of them here are just massive. Yeah, Serena just went to one. It was out in Grapevine and it's a Texas yes. thrift. And she was telling me, she's like, Kendall, we have to go. Oh, and yeah. I don't know, I, I had to have been because there's no way that I haven't been to like every thrift store I have to imagine like in the DFW area, but yes. I wanna go. The cashier said that it was the biggest Texas thrifts in the entire chain which I believed her because it was it was huge. I think it was the biggest thrift store that I have been to yet, so. We have a furry friend that has just joined <laughs> us. Hazel, say your hellos. So moving on, the profit that we made, or I would say total number in sales would be 1,933. That's not profit because that does include our cost of goods. Which is higher than last month, not by a ton. We sold eight more items last month of this month but what does this one mean highest yeah, so our highest item that we sold it was for 105 dollars that's what you meant by that okay mm -hmm. and previously it was 150 it was those alexander mcqueen jeans it was alexander wang i'm thinking of the shoe brand <laughs> I'm thinking of the shoe brand. My brother really likes those shoes. So yes, the $105 sale that we had, we actually thrifted in one of our previous videos, one of our previous Come Thrift With Me videos. It was oh, yeah. a Hill House dress. It was really cute. It was cute. Yeah, it was really cute. And then some of the brands that we've sold, Judy Blue is one that we just continue to sell quickly. It's pretty common in our thrift stores and they don't mark it up too much. So we love to pick up Judy Blue. I would say a lot of people say they struggle selling jeans and jeans are honestly one of my favorite things to pick I up. I love to pick up jeans because the thrift stores, like sometimes they'll mark them up, but the best case is when they're half off. Oh, love it's it. It's like, okay, you're buying this for cheap. And like jeans, even if you're going to Target, Walmart, Old Navy, like I love to get my jeans from there too, but they're still pricey. Oh, like yeah. it's still a big price tag item because denim is expensive. So yeah, to be able to sell really any jeans, I mean, I, I love to sell them. Brand and style is very important when it comes to selling jeans and size. So if you are really staying within a range, just, I would say, you know, buying a 27s, 28s, 29s, I think those yes. are very common sizes. So I like picking up those sizes. I'll, we will pick up smaller or larger sizes and the we do sell them. The don't seem to do that well. I think we have better luck with bigger than smaller. They do take, yeah, they do take a while to sell, but I like picking up jeans. We've had some pretty decent luck selling jeans. Three on here are jeans. We have Aviator, which they have with this little airplane logo on them hence the aviator name. But those sold quickly too. Those sold pretty quickly to an offer. That They're... was my ice maker. Okay, I heard the sound and I was like, I thought it came from out front. I was like, I don't know what that sound that, yeah, was, my... but I got so, I was like, you're way too calm. It was my ice maker. Thank goodness it's just the ice maker and not something a lot scarier. We're, we're safe. My fridge is a big controversy on Twitter. Okay, um, because... wow. <laughs> Okay, sorry, 
I know. There's, <laughs> I have one of those bespoke Samsung fridges where you can change the panels to different colors. And that was the ice maker too. I don't think that was ice. <laughs> No idea what that was. <laughs> well, there are sounds, so sorry if you're okay. hearing any of them. We like selling jeans. <laughs> we love jeans. We love jeans. So Aviator and then surprisingly Hudson. We I did sell a pair of Hudson jeans. And for like $30 or $35, which was just wild to me. I don't know why. Oh, Hazel, please join us. <laughs> Gosh, it's this is really chaotic today in the best way. Okay, Serena, I'm going to let you share some next items. Okay, our next brand on the list is a newish to me brand, at least, and it is packed. Packed. I think a lot of this stuff is, it's not just linen, but it's a very unassuming logo. It's just a bl like black typeface. I think they do like a lot of organics and recycled and, and stuff yeah, like that. I mean, they're so. nice quality things, but I mean, we've sold a couple of their things or at least two. We've found and listed two items and we've sold both those. Yeah, so our sure. sell-through rate on packed, Oh, it's only two items, but it is 100%, 100 and rent. under 30 days listed for both items. Good. If you see Pack, that's a great brand to pick up. Yeah, that one is like a high degree of confidence purchase. Like we yes. know that that is going to sell for us. I'll do a couple other ones here. Free People, BDG, which is an Urban Outfitters brand. They do have pretty stylish jeans, usually very trendy. I wouldn't say I would really pick it up all the time. If it's cheap and it's like a flare leg or a really fun high rise straight that we sold a high rise straight yes. pair. So, I mean, for the cheap, like buying I do the like cheap, BDG. The thing with BDG though myself. is the sizes do run small. Just FYI. Yes. I was like, why did none of, why did none of these jeans actually fit me? And it's because they just run small. They run small. So have no worries. We sold Everlane, some American Eagle, Mother. Mother's a great brand. But Anthropology has really surprised us. Or at least I'll speak for myself. It has surprised me. We sold this pair of pants, and I think it was while we were recording the last one. Or it was the day, the we, the were, day we, yeah. it was the day we recorded our one-month review. They sold for $75. They were new with tags. They were new, but still, it's really impressive. And then since then, we have sold another pair of Anthropology pants used or pre-owned condition, yeah. $50. We've had really good luck with Maeve, especially their, of course, their newer <laughs> current the brand. The very yeah. cutesy, new, still-in-store brand. So obviously, those are going to do better. because if someone's looking for them and they can find them cheaper. All right, we also sold J. Crew, Beyond Yoga, and Farm Rio. Love Farm Rio. Our Farm Rio sell through rate is 100% so far. One item. But. <laughs> but 100%. It is a. It, and it sold quickly, I think within the week. Or actually, it was probably within 48 hours. It was quick because you're like, did I underprice that? And I was like, I thought that was very competitively priced. It actually had a flaw. So, and we still got five star review on that. Yes. Not that that matters too much. So a couple more. LNDR, we have that as a good seller. They, I don't know what all they have, but these were leggings. And Serena, you bought those on a gamble. And oh, yes. they sold quickly. 100% sell through on that as well. Two yes. pairs of leggings and they both sold. They were marked at $3.99. I purchased them for $3.99. I felt them and instantly was like, these are quality leggings. They I was are like, very these nice. are nice leggings. And so it is a brand that was completely new to me. I only looked it up just because it felt just, I, I was like, I would they buy this. Thick. They're thick, they're they form cinch. fitting, the fabric soft, yeah. sell through rate on those are really good for us. I'm glad that we picked them up. Another was Dark Sport. I can't really speak to Dark Sport. This is another one I picked up on a whim. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's on a whim, there's I, no science. I go by vibes. Really <laughs> most of the time, I just go by vibes. What interested me about it is it had a little logo embroidered it was a quarter zip and the tag had a number so it was like 486 out of 500 and so oh, that's usually the one it that, was numbered yes and when you see that mm -hmm. it's okay so this is a limited run item and typically if you are only making or doing small runs or trying kind of that scarcity i guess what would you call it just that it create it instills an urgency. It's like I need to get this because there is a limited supply. So it's like get it now. Right. What are the chances another one pops up? Whatever. There's only yeah. 500 of them made. So I looked it up and it looked good and I ended up buying that and we it were sold for a lot. It sold for 50 bucks and I'm good with that. Yeah, I like that. That was great. 
Noble, that ended up being just a, a t-shirt. That actually sold surprisingly fast, too. That did sell fast. Frame, pair of jeans. I think we might have sold maybe one or two pairs of frame jeans. Yeah. Good American. Hill House, we've already talked about. Yes. Of course, Lululemon. Can't complain about Lululemon. I think we sold the barrel sweats. But and they're newer style. Those sold really quickly as well, too. And then you found the Kith hoodie, which we have shown on another video. Right. That sold pretty quickly. Yeah, the Kith hoodie, that was great. Next, Buff Bunny. I think I bought these the same time as the LNDR leggings. Mm -hmm. They also really did feel like good quality. And I was like, let's give this a shot. Those sold and we were happy with that as well. Yeah, so we'll kind of blow and go through these final ones. We sold some Freddie jeans, so kind of back on the jean kick. Varley, Princess Polly. Abercrombie, Levi's, Tucker neck dress. Smart. We did sell a Barefoot Dream sweater. We sold a pair of Paige jeans. That, Surprising. That was actually a really good price. Cool, we sold, yeah, a pair of cool pants, a pair of Current and Elliot pants. That one was surprising because we were not going to be picking that up much anymore, Correct. which is surprising. And then you can talk about normal Kamali better. Nor I think it's Norma. Nor Norma. It is yeah. Norma. Norma Kamali. It was new with tags. It sold for $40 and it was a bikini skirt. That's a good yeah. brand. If you see Norma Kamali, that's a good brand. We to get. sold something Nike. It was this really cool sweatshirt though. It was pretty so unique. It was a unique item. Again, we're not just like selling Nike. St. John. St. John. Birkenstock, I was really surprised. Serena, it was just something from her closet, but there were these like Birkenstock shoes. $55. That wasn't from my closet. What? Okay, well, okay, it was kind of from my were. closet. I did thrift them, and then they yes. were in my closet, but I didn't end up wearing them. And I was like, I already have a pair of Birks. So I was like, let's just It's like these. once removed from your closet. <laughs> it, it was in my closet. It, it was at there. At one point. It was there. I did pick those up for $10. Think. But yeah, for like, I, I just did not think that Burks would go for that much just because of the way that they shaped your foot. I don't know. I just was kind of surprised. Viore, of course. Ariat, they're kind of like a Western brand and we sold a pair of their jeans. Yes. Those sold quickly. Those sold way quickly. I want to find more of them. Yes. And then surprisingly, we've sold some Madewell stuff too. I know we were kind of talking in our last video how we don't really want to pick up Madewell anymore. And then whilst recording the video, a Madewell item sold. Yeah. which was hilarious. And so it was one of my favorite items actually of Madewell that we have. Those are kind of all the brands that we sold. And then we have just like a list of high confidence brands, like things that if we saw it at the store, we wouldn't even think twice about getting it. One of them is Tucker Nuck, Dark Sport, LNDR, Farm Rio. Serena just found another Farm Rio item, which it will have 100% sell-through rate on our store. Yeah, it is, it's it so has cute. these little toucans or whatever kind of bird that is. I think it's a toucan. Viore always, Hill House, that dress sold so quickly, and then Pact, which we've talked about. Those are brands that, without a doubt, we would buy. I, there's more of them, but those are just like really, those ones yes. did really, really well I for us. will say too, we did have Promoted Closet for the past week. We were in the beta program for Promoted Closet, and I just kind of wanted to add in some stats about our experience. We got a week free. In total, we sold four items. Our spend was $35, but we didn't, we got our first $35 free, and our like sales ended up being like around $140. Do I think Promoted Closet is worth it? No, mainly because $35 to sell for items is terrible. It's yeah, really bad. Yeah, that feels like robbery. <laughs> that's so, so bad. Unless you have really high priced items, yeah. I don't think spending $35 in a week to promote items and then getting $140 is it's not good. No, that's, it's not a good investment. I'm right there with you. That was my experience and my opinion on Promoted Closet. I figured I would add that. It was 11 cents per click. I know you have a little bit more experience with eBay Promoted Closet. So we promote on eBay and we promote at typically 10% and it works well for us, but that's our business model. For some people, it does not make a difference to them. So they're like, why would I want to promote something where it's like doesn't make a difference, right. especially if you're buying high quality items that are selling quickly, you don't need to promote something that's gonna sell quickly. Yes. Um, I love the catching up on our death pile. That is our goal. We have so much stuff right now and every time we get more stuff, like that's the stuff that I wanna list. There's probably some seriously good stuff just stacked in bins, 
But yeah, we have a huge death pile rolling and obviously it's not going to make us any money uh, sitting in husky totes. Yes. yes. And I hope that you found this video helpful. Yes. We'd love to hear any of your comments or questions please leave them below. We'll also add some of our socials and our closet links down in the description. Follow us on Instagram. If you do follow us on Instagram, leave a comment so we can follow you back. We would love yes. to connect with other people. And Serena posts some good stuff on Instagram. Yeah, I've been trying to keep up with it as I can and I, I do enjoy it. I feel like I learn a lot from Instagram too. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. We're gonna be making some more videos today but they're not going to get launched today. <laughs> today is in the moment that we were actually recording this in. So we're excited to start sharing more with you about what items we're actually specifically selling for yeah. us, but then also things that we're finding while we're out thrifting. Yes. So. All right. Yay. Thank you guys. See ya. Bye. -bye. Bye.